Hi, hello, and a massive welcome to the channel. The addiction today, I plan to do one insane massive farming session, but with a slight difference, so go grab that coffee, and please get comfy, and allow me to explain in further details. Farming in World of Warcraft for Gold, we are rather spoiled for choice. We have the 10 run lockout method in dungeons and raids, open world farming, using static semi or complete AFK farming methods. Crafting and cloth shuffles, time limited and basic vendor flips to more advanced auction and server flips, the list of options on how we can farm for gold is rather large. It can be very tough for a lot of players, new or old, trying to keep track of all the different methods, techniques and variations to farming in WoW. And I have not even mentioned what we can actually farm for. Just making this decision on what to farm, and when to farm for it a lot more challenging for some players. There is one well-known method to making gold in WoW that is hardly used by players these days due to the many choices we have at our disposal for farming in-game. This video only aim is to make you aware of this dying method to farming for gold, this will not be a guide however as this method is self-explanatory and extremely easy to understand. But sadly it's rarely used despite it being rather good and a lot of fun. This method I refer to, does not really have a name attached to it, as it's just hardly used and now slowly dying to time. So please allow me to try and explain. The game plan is simple, without using any farming tricks, secret methods or techniques, I plan to run every single raid in game up to the battle for Azeroth expansion. Doing a complete full clear of each raid, suffering through all the RP chit chat and gaining the weekly lockout for each one on my main farming character. This is the most basic form of farming and has been in the game since the very start, simply going to a raid, running as intended and hope I get lucky with any rare drops, mounts or pets. All reagents I obtain along the way will only come from the raids I run, I will not be doing any kind of travel farming as I move from location to raid location. That includes any rares, hidden chests or time-limited vendors. I just want to show to you how easy it is to make gold even with the most basic methods to farming, which of course is farming, just without any tricks or techniques as I go. The whole reason why I am showing you this and calling it a dying method and almost a forgotten art form to farming in WoW is really easy to understand. As farmers, you tend to hyper-focus all your farming energy and efforts entirely onto one farmable item or reagent. That normally has a high price tag but low drop rate or you decide to farm for one particular reagent, forcing yourself to farm in one location for a set period of time. And of course there is nothing wrong with doing this at all, and something I do on a daily basis myself. The basic method I am using now is just farming raids and how Blizzard originally intended us to do so. Farming a complete full raid, killing all bosses and obtaining the weekly lockouts from each one you run. Be totally aware that farming for gold using this method is really based on RNG and how lucky you are at that moment in time when you are farming. And this is what gives this method its charm and makes it fun. I tend to farm like this maybe twice a week on a different farming character to my main. Starting with classic raids and working my way through as many expansions as possible before getting bored or needing to log off for the night. I do this because I want variety sometimes when farming, and this method is perfectly suited just for this. I am going to let the footage run, showing you very quickly each raid I did manage to farm, and I will be back in a few minutes with my surprising end results and final conclusion.
due to the Mists of Pandoria remix event still happening. The retail version of Mists of Pandoria expansion as a whole has become extremely buggy and all the random disconnections I was getting was beyond a joke now. By the time I reached the Siege of Orgrimmar, the game was way too buggy which completely messed up my run entirely. And it was at this point I decided not to continue any further and call it a night on this farming session. The random disconnections really did ruin my farming mood sadly. So let's move on to my final results and conclusion. Taking into account the breaks and buggy disconnection problems in Mist as well as travel times from each raid going to the next. The overall results are rather good for the time spent farming all raids up to the Siege of Orgrimmar. 13.6k in raw gold, honestly I was expecting far less than that as most old world raids do not pay well in raw gold running them. 17 pets I am able to sell on the auction house, and a few of them are rather good sells like the AQ40 pet as an example. Decent recipes, but nothing to fancy there and same goes for the mogs, a lot of potential profit will come from all the reagents and other items. Using the bag appraiser add-on, you can clearly see a breakdown on items and how much they are worth on the auction house. And you can also see that the total potential gold profit I can make if I was to sell everything right now is sitting at a healthy 97k gold making a grand total of 110k gold. And this was just farming raids normally, nothing more. Please be aware, I am not telling you to farm every raid in game, like I was trying to do and all in one day. I did this just to try and illustrate my point. What I do suggest however is rather a good idea if you think about it. Stop wasting raid lockouts each week. What I mean by this is to try and complete as many raids as you are able to farm, spreading them out across the week will help, maybe running only one or two per day also. Certain raids do not take long to complete a full run, and the raw gold and potential rewards in drops as well as all the reagents we can obtain makes this dying method to farming really good. This method like all others is solely based on RNG. There may be days when you get really lucky, other days not so much, at least with this method, you're not wasting anything farming them so what have you got to lose. Thank you so much for watching, I really do hope this helps and you enjoyed, please do not forget to hit that like and sub buttons it really does help the channel to grow. I am off farming now so until the next one and like always, stay away from the crazy people and stay safe out there.